Well, you know, I think hopefully we could start uh, in 10, 15 years, we can really start addressing a lot of the issue that we have along our border, which is drug issues. And, you know, that's from the consumption side over here to the supply side over there. Start having a real drug, a real war on on the actual issues, not on the people, which it's, it's sort of we're kind of continuing to put a Band-Aid on them. And I think in 10 to 15 years, I'm really hoping that our voting bloc is much larger. So we're starting to pass certain things from Dream Act and beyond, but uh, that we can actually start seeing some actual changes and behind the scenes, you know, like more representation, um, not just in our voters, but in actual in our Congress and in our Senate. And when we start having those different types of things moving forward, suddenly these issues that are of concern to us right now that we feel like we're bashing our head against the wall for are not going to be so difficult to have because the people in office that we'd be having them with will have a deeper understanding of them, a personal connection to them, and they'll be just as invested in those changes as you are. So maybe one of you voters right now will end up being that representation that we need to move forward on these issues because, you know, time goes by like this, and as much as we might feel like, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter, 15 years is going to go by, and you could have potentially been in that position to make some really powerful changes for your children, my children, and children beyond. That's the kind of changes that we need to be thinking of, and that we're not always going to get it in the short term. We should be thinking about 10, 15 years from now. And if we make those goals big and full and robust, we might just actually step up to those challenges. They're good ones.